Well, previously on Neighbor Roy. Let's go, big guy. It's time to pound me in. You made the right choice, Joe. Joe, what the hell is going on? The house is for sale? Roy, I don't want to talk about the move. Just leave it. You really don't want to see Joe go, do you? What? You feeling all right, Joe? Josephine! <laughs> Who are you? I'm Joe. I booked the session with Dr. Wick. Oh. I am Dr. Montgomery Wick, but my closest friends call me Gummy. You'd like to be one of my closest friends, wouldn't you? Um... No pressure. No pressure. Settle down. Come on in. Welcome to my home operation. This is my stepdaughter, Stacy. Stacy, this is Greg. Joe. I was close. So what do you have planned today, sweetie? Hanging out with friends? Maybe go to the mall? Movies? <gasps> Movies at the mall? <laughs> She's a great kid. Right this way, Jason. That's when I passed out. In the pool? Yeah. My friends are actually the ones who saved me from drowning. Wow. They think I was going through some sort of panic attack. Roy thinks it's from the stress of moving. So, he suggested I come and talk to you. Well, this Roy character sounds like a very smart man. Tell me some more about him. Well, Roy's actually the reason I put my house up for sale in the first place. He's always sticking his nose into my business and, well, he's always trespassing on my property. Well, Keith, the great spirit works in mysterious ways sometimes. Sure, but isn't it best if I just get away from the source of all my stress? I mean, that's why I put my house up for sale. Well, Jill, I think you have what we call a guardian angel, and that angel's name is Roy. Hear me out. The way that this man cares about you, the way that this man is constantly there to help out at a moment's notice, I mean, most of the time, you don't even have to invite him over. He's just there, right? Do you know how many people come in here and sit right where you're sitting and complain and moan about wanting the exact kind of loving friendship that you just described to me? Do you have any idea how many people come in here asking for that, yearning? I guess I never thought of it that way. Yeah, I guess you didn't think. Yeah. I'm gonna show you something. What do you see there? That's you with a dog. Yes, that is me laying with a dog. But you know what else it is? It's love. It's true love. And I'll be honest, Dwayne, I'm starting to think that you have a real problem with love. Listen, it is my professional opinion that you should seriously reconsider this move. I don't think you can handle the stress. And at this point in your life, I don't think you can afford to lose a friend like Roy. Because my friend, I think he's all that's holding you together at this point. I guess I got lots to think about. Yeah, you do. But you can't think about it here, you nut. I've got a three o'clock. Time to skedaddle. Come on. Good luck with everything, Joe. So, did it work? Does a one-legged like duck swim in a circle? It does. Uh, uh, uh. My man. Where's my money? I got it. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, forty-one. It's all there. Oh God, these two. Oh, we're twins, and no one can tell us apart, and we don't feel that we know who we are as individuals. <coughs> blah blah blah. blah. Hi, girls. Roy, would you like to sit in on this one? No. No, 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 no. No? I have to go. Okay. okay. Suit yourself. Don't let them contaminate you there, Roy. <laughs> See ya! All right, you two, let's go.
Oh, now, Stacy, don't attack the twins. Talk about this. 